What's going on guys? Pierce here from Finifish. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a couple weeks. We're back at it again. We're in the urban setting. I actually tried to record this video the other day, edited it and deleted the entire thing. So this is take two, but we got a special one for you guys today. So I'm at a spot I've never been to before and I'm just gonna see how many different types of fish I can land on just this one rig. So I'm gonna show you guys the rig here in a second and then we're just gonna get to fishing. There's a lot of canals and ponds. It's just a little area right close to my house here in Orlando. So just gonna go throw on this little thing, see how many different species we can catch today. But I'm super, exci super excited to show you guys this rig. I'm actually starting to sell them. So I'll have a link to an Instagram where I'm doing the sales right now and I'll have a website in the future. But for now, doing all sales through Instagram. So if you're interested in purchasing these hooks or this rig, check the Instagram in the bottom. It's called at Finifish Merch. But anyways, we're gonna get started here, guys. Let's do some fishing. Let's see what happens guys so this is the rig as you can see it's a weedless screw lock hook we make a couple different sizes this is the smallest size we make here I've got it rigged up with a Euro tackle Euro grub and with a pegged 1 32nd ounce lead and it is weedless so I got it tied up with my ultralight there's a little more to fishing this rig than that but it's enough talking for now let's just go catch a fish and then we'll explain a little bit more about this thing here you know as I said I've never been here before so this should be pretty interesting today. Nothing scripted about this. Doesn't seem to be any water over here anyways. Let's see if we can find us some fish, boys. Yeah, all this for this little hole. At least there's running water. There we go. Nice. All right, guys. First fish of the day. Species number one it is a bluegill. Right next to the road. Roadside bluegills. Another one. Uh oh. What is this here? This is a hybrid. Yes. I don't feel like explaining how I know, but that is just, that's a hybrid sunfish right there. Bluegill red ear. Just gonna have to take my word for it. They took my my bite, man. Good old Euro tackle. This is the Euro grub. Take this guy off. Off the screw lock. Then we have the rig. Show you. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Huh. Cool. Wow, didn't expect that. Nile tilapia, sweet. Species number two of the day, right on that rig, baby. Oh, see you later, dude. I'm gonna explain to you the difference between this and a crappie jig. Now, you could throw a crappie jig around here, but as you know, that's an exposed hook lure, whereas this can be extremely weedless. If you fish with, in a place with a lot of obstruction, something like this, a lot of weeds, but you still want to be able to fish ultralight lures, this little thing right here is almost imperative. Where normally you'd get stuck, this will not get stuck, but because of that, you have to use a really specific setup. Right here, I'm fishing some braided line with a really short fluorocarbon leader, about a foot and a half. You don't want to use mono because it stretches and when you're fishing this you got a light backbone rod with ultralight or a light power 
and you've got a weedless presentation so you you do not want any stretch whatsoever whoa i just lost my tail that stretch will cause you to miss fish so you gotta fish not the noodliest ultralight in the world and rated line with fluorocarbon leader is recommended there's literally like four or five bass in here i can't get them to strike Got him, oh. Holy crap. Oh, 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 come on. Oh no. You got a fish, dude. Is that a tilapia? A red breast? A spot. Nice. Fine. Heck yeah, dude. Nice. nice. Dude, I haven't got that one today yet. Woo. So that's bluegill, Nile tilapia, and now a spotted sunfish mm. on a little Texas rig. Yeet. Yeet. Nice, dude. Back in the hole. That's tight. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come See on. you later. Out of there, just popping good. That's why you use these guys. Did you see that? Oh, right off. Come on, man. Throw your crappie jig in a bush and tell me what happens. Sure. All right, dude. Check it out. This hole should have been full of fish, but it ain't. It was supposed to be good. Ended up tra trash. Oh, shoot, dude. Dude, dude, dude. All right, all right. This is bad. Oh. That was crazy. <laughs> dude, I. I, I dude. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was sick. Was sick. <laughs> we keep hooking these bass and they're getting off in the culverts, but it's because we're fishing ultralights. But yeah, it's it's not the bait's fault, but pretty epic, man. If only we had the backbone to get those fish out. There's no way. There was no way. It's like hooking a grouper on a piling. There's more canal. Hook a bowfin back here and all hell breaks loose. That does look good, boy. And if a redfin pickerel was in here, I reckon he he'd smack it. Is that another money shot? Yeah, of course. Dude, oh my God! Dude, I think you're cool. Holy shoot! <laughs> That was cool, bro. Dude, I told you. Dude, nice. That's beautiful. Dude, nice. Spotty in the back. Uh, in the back, <laughs> baby. <laughs> that was back there. Dude, I know, right? What oh, the heck? Man. Dude, you guys can't do this with crappie jigs. Come on, species fishermen, get on it. Give me your money. All right, guys, see you later. That's a nice gill. Dude, that's gillio. Ow. Don't let gillio do that. Oh, he choked it too. Pretty good. No joke bluegill right here, man. That's a that's an eight incher right there, boy. They won't be. Ah, oh, dude, I can't play next. <laughs> you said you just said, ah oh, dude, it ant my neck. <laughs> Dude, and at my neck, dude. Come on, man. Dude, and at my neck, bro. Oh, man. Did you just pull my boy? <laughs> <laughs> Did, you just pull my Did you just pull my boy? Hell yeah.
I just pulled Taylor's boy right quick. It don't matter, right? Look, guys, I'm sorry to say it. All y'all need these hooks. Game changer. Game changer if you're a species fisherman, if you like catching all kinds of different stuff, no matter what on ultralight, okay, <laughs> give me your money, thank you. Brew gear. Brew gear. Oh, that gar. Yes. Ah, oh, come on, eat it next time, bro. Come on, bro. We gotta get this species today. Let's go, let's go. This might be my only shot. Oh, fuck. Got him, boys and girls. Look at that. I might not land him, so take a look. Nice Florida gar right there. Let's see. Um, um, I'm just moving them back and forth for now until mm -hmm. I figure out what we're gonna do. You just hold this. I'm gonna come down and walk all the way in here and land them right there. Do what I'm doing, just walk them back and forth yeah. constantly. I landed them. In your hand. Yeah. Alright. There we go, guys. Nice little Florida gar on the screw lock. Check that out, guys. That hook penetrated in there. If you know anything about gar, you'll know. You gotta get a good hook for that. There. Say goodbye. He'll be all right down in there. <laughs> he swam right off, but all right, that's species four for the day. Let's keep it going. Nice. Warmouth, baby. Likely a hybrid, but it ain't no spot. We're counting this as a warmouth. That's species number five right there. That is tough call right there. But we're calling it a warmouth. All right, see you later, dude. It's like a whole wall of water right there. Oh my God. It's starting, let's go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, we got rained out. Um, I wish I could have caught a largemouth because that was like the only species I was missing, but I did get that constellation hybrid warmouth thing. So we're going to count it as five species today, which is pretty cool. Uh, first time ever at that spot, all with artificial lures. Let's see you guys do it. You got to order some hooks, check the description, and let me see how many different species you can catch at one spot in one day. Tag me on Instagram or post a YouTube video. Let me know how you like the hooks. They're epic. As you saw today, they open up a whole new world of fishing snag structure and just insane spots that you would never throw ultralight lures at. But I had a lot of fun today fishing with my buddy Taylor. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy.